Hey Libras, Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for April 5th to 6th of 2022. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Libra. What's going on with my Libras in the next 48 hours? So what does Libra need to know for April 5th to the 6th of 2022 for Libra? Excuse how I sound, y'all. It is late, but we're going to get through it. <laughs> this is going to be a short reading. <laughs> All right, we have Mole Superstition. And we have stag beetle tenacity. Okay. You have the foresight. You are fully aware of what's to come. Even when it's immediately about to happen, it's like, you know, if I see it like a premonition, you know, it's about to happen before it does. You're fully prepared and aware and you act accordingly. Like right before a tree hits you, you see that it about to hit you and you duck. Or you see that it's going to happen until you duck. That's the type of energy you got. You just you just keep moving. You don't let that stop you. It's like you duck and you keep on running. You don't lose any like speed or pace. You just duck and run. you run and duck at the same time. It's the type of energy I'm getting from you. All right, next 48 hours for Libra. April 5th to the 6th of 2022 for Libra. April 5th to the 6th of 2022 for Libra. All right, we have the Two of Pentacles. Like I said, you make it look easy. So you're juggling, juggling a lot, but you're balancing it well and you make it look easy. We have the Death card, Scorpio Transformation. Uh, maybe you're trying to get out of that. You don't want to be a one-man band or like, yeah, one-man band anymore. Possibly. We have the Queen of Cups, Water King, and Scorpio Pisces. Definitely dealing with a Scorpio for someone here. So you could have put an end to a relationship with someone who was juggling or someone could feel like you juggle a lot or you have a lot on your plate. Oh, our energy is Ace of Wands. Yeah, I'm getting like someone here. I feel like they, they think you have a lot on your plate or you put work before them. Could possibly be dealing with their cancer as well. Excuse me. Yeah, they feel like you juggle um, them too much with the work. Ace of Wands. Definitely like this person or you feel this way about them. Put yourself where you go. But someone, I feel like you're really fired up here though. This Ace of Wands, the overall energy. Like you have a lot of creative energy. You're just on the go. And, and you're balancing everything in life. And it's going well. But I feel like your relationship with a, a water sign is going through a transformation. Let's see what that is. Clarify this. Libra. Clarify this message for Libra. Clarify this message for Libra. All right, we have the Four of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Okay, so this person feels like you were a past um, disappointment where or a missed opportunity, I should say. They missed out on you in the past, so they're trying to come back around now. But they just feel like disappointed. They feel like you're not interested in them. Because you have you work too much, or you're more interested in your hobbies or other things. This person just feels like you don't, they don't get enough of your time and attention. Or also, you've missed out on them in the past, and they, it's like this person's focused on you, and you're not focused on them. Now, it could be vice versa, put it where it goes for you. But I feel like in the past, you did this to this person again, and now it's happening again. You neglected them for work and hobbies, and you're doing it again. But for some reason, this person still sees you as a missed opportunity. Maybe it's because they don't ever get the chance with you because you're always busy. <laughs> or it's like things never match up. Whenever you two talk again, one or both of you is in a relationship, or one or both of you just doesn't want to be bothered with relationships. Excuse me, I keep coughing. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. My throat is dry. Clarify the death card is six of wands. Yeah, it's like someone wants your attention, but you're getting more attention at work. Page of wands. I also feel like this person is, I mean, they are energy the ace of wands. This person could definitely be hitting you up for like <clears throat> sex pretty much. They feel as though they're not getting enough of your time and attention and affection. Clarifying the queen of cups is the devil card. Yep. They have this strong attraction and urge towards you. It could also be a Capricorn as well. 
who's so there's someone here who wants sex from you, physical attraction. They're not getting it. They feel neglected by you. Also, the devil's um, fierce addictions and enslavement. Sorry, y'all. <coughs> yeah, this is about to be my last reading. My throat. This is a high priestess. So there's definitely a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio extremely attracted to you. This person, y'all got some crazy chemistry. Overall energy, it's a magician. Don't trust this person. I'm sorry. This seems like this person doing some work. <clears throat> Gemini, Virgo energy. Don't let them distract you from your work. Keep doing what you're doing. All right. This person is pulling hell and high water to get you to sleep with them and give them a little bit of attention. This is the reading to Six of Wands. You're getting a lot of victory, success, public acknowledgement, and praise. And they want your attention because they're just craving you sexually. I feel like this person is literally using magic and all they got. They're getting readings. They're pulling cards to get your attention. I also feel like you're just really magical at what you do at, at manifesting. Um, I don't think, I don't like that this is the magician. I feel like you're manifesting a lot, but I don't like that it's with the devil and the high priestess in the seven. Yeah, there's someone here who's using very sneaky, underhanded ways to get your attention. Love magic and love spells and stuff. <clears throat> I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. Everything you need to know about me is in the description box below. I see peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.